Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about a challenge that many of us have encountered through the course of doing our design work. How do we send an assembly to a third party without sending extra detail that might be unnecessary, or even worse, might contain proprietary information that we don't want getting outside the company walls? Fortunately, a new feature inside of Autodesk Inventor 2013 makes this a much easier process to accomplish. So let's open up Inventor 2013 and have a look. Here we've got a sample file. It's just this little model engine. If I go to my View tab and choose a section view, I can see that there's a lot of voids and internal components that might not be necessary for what the end user is doing, or, like I said earlier, might even be proprietary information we don't want them seeing. Now I could export a step and then go through and open it up in Inventor Fusion, for example, or Inventor and start removing these details. But Inventor 2013 adds a much easier way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just start up a standard new Autodesk Inventor part file. Once we're inside that file, I'm going to go to my Manage tab and choose Derive Component. I'll go ahead and browse out to the assembly file that I want to simplify and open them up. Now I get the screen that would allow me to derive components and many of these items we've seen before if you're familiar with the derive component tool. But now I've got an options tab and if we take a look at that I can remove geometry by visibility, move the slider and control the threshold for that visibility. I can remove parts by size if I want to remove parts by size. I can patch holes if I wish to patch holes, and also I can remove internal voids if I need to remove those voids. I'll hit OK and accept that setting, and Inventor will chug a little bit as it goes ahead and takes care of that for us. Once that's completed, we can see the model is simplified, and a lot of the details have dropped away now, so we don't have all that extra information. If we return to the View tab and go ahead and section this component now, you can see where the voids have been removed. So just like that, we've got something that's simplified and can be saved out to a step or an SAT, for example, and be sent out to a third party. Also, if you need to make changes, maybe change the threshold of part visibility, you can edit the derived component, just like we have before, and go ahead and make changes to the threshold and adjust the model that way. So there it is, a really, really quick and efficient way of creating simplified parts so you can send them out to a third party. That's it for this video, and thanks again for watching, everybody.